For those of you who've been around for a little while, you remember that about five months ago, we sent Jacob, who is our former student pastor, uh, and his wife to Waltham, Mass. to help start a church there. Um, during that time, and even a little bit before, we've been spending the last six months in this search process to identify the next leader of Bridgepoint's next-gen ministry. And we interviewed um, some really, really wonderful candidates, and um, through this process, feel like the Holy Spirit worked in such a specific way to lead us to this point. And so before I introduce to you our new next-gen pastor, I just want to take a moment to thank the team that helped get us here. We have an incredible team of uh, student ministry volunteers that have served faithfully while they work full-time jobs. They've showed up every week, providing a safe and engaging environment. So if you have served on the student ministry team, will you just stand up so we can thank God for you? Go ahead. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Um, we, are, we are so blessed. Thank you guys so much. So blessed to be at this point where we have not just held together a ministry, but it has really done well through the last several months. And so without further ado, I want to introduce you to Fred Thompson and his wife, Sarah. Starting this past Monday, Fred is on staff as our next-gen pastor, and he and his wife moved here about a week ago. Um, God did some really cool stuff to get you here, and so Fred, just as we introduce you to the church, uh, share just a little bit about yourself and your passion for this ministry. Yeah, so both my wife and I, we grew up in Maine, and um, I came from a non-church uh, background. My family, we didn't go to church, and... Um, so in high school, I started, Jared was actually my youth pastor when I first started going to church, and um, so, and my football coach, and uh, so I got engaged at the church that he was working at, and through a course of a few years, um, became a Christian and surrendered my life to Jesus, and it was, it was awesome, and um, I just felt like God was leading me to do full-time ministry as a, as a youth pastor, and so I went to Johnson University in Knoxville, Tennessee, and uh, pursued a degree in uh, youth and preaching degree, and it was, it was great, and I got the opportunity to come back to my uh, home church and work there for several years, and, um, and then for the last year, we were looking for a house, and we put in tons of offers, and um, kind of got us to this point where we we're like Jared called and he was like hey we have a we have a job and we we're like oh okay well we just we just bought a house so <laughs> we're not so, sure how that's going to work but yeah I, I'll let Sarah kind of share yeah. that yeah so when I first called him I'm pretty sure I said hey Fred you know I'd really like for you to interview for this position he's like well the problem is tomorrow we're buying a house like tomorrow <laughs> the next day and so he's like, so I don't think it'll work out. And so I was kind of bummed and yeah. spent a couple of weeks just talking about how it wasn't going to work out. And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then you called me again because Sarah had really sent something from God. So I think it's important for you to share that. So there was one day that I, I was just praying and listening to sermons while I was working on the house. And we were really seeking God and the Holy Spirit to speak into the situation and tell us what we should do. Um, because we did want to follow Jesus and go where he was leading, but it was a, a huge challenge to figure out what to do with this house. Um, I had an encounter with the Holy Spirit where it just became so clear to me. It just hit me like a ton of bricks that uh, we were choosing the house over God, and I felt so convicted, and my heart just really broke because nothing is more important than Jesus and following Jesus, and the house is worth nothing in comparison to that. Yeah. So we yeah, decided amen. to... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we decided to take the house off the table and not let that be a factor. Yeah. 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 And that's amen. when I called Jared and I yeah. said, hey, guess what? Let's talk. <laughs> Let's talk. <laughs> Let's talk. And so God worked through all of that. The timing is good. We're super thankful. And, uh, and so, Fred, as this is like your first introduction to the church, is there anything you'd like to say to, uh, to families, to parents and students? Yeah, just kind of my story of growing up outside of the church. I'm really passionate and uh, getting to know your students and getting to know you, but also making this a space where 
um, students feel like the, they belong here, just like I did, and that, because that's my story. And so that's that's what we want to bring. We want to uh, create an environment where students just really know Jesus, and um, they can make relationships with uh, both the youth leaders and us, and yeah. and just the church at large. Yeah. So yeah, that's awesome. We're really excited about this, and we know that this is a ministry that requires a great deal of trust from parents. Um, as a, a parent with a middle school daughter, like I, I am excited for this, and I'm so thankful that we have people to lead this along with a wonderful volunteer team. And so we want you to feel like you have the opportunity to build trust. You know, that doesn't happen in a moment. And so one of the ways to do that is by spending time together. And so we have set up um, a schedule that is available online. You can check it out back at the corner of our lobby. Fred and Sarah are going to be back in the corner of our lobby after the service so you can say hi to them. But we've set up a schedule where you can sign up to host them for a meal or take them out to eat for a meal so that you and your students can get to know them. Hopefully that's the beginning of this relationship filled with trust that will build a partnership between the church and families for many years to come. And so if you're interested in that, stop by uh, to say hi to them. You can check out the information online. And uh, we are just really excited for how God is working in this ministry. And so I want to pray for them. While I pray for them, I'm going to send them to the back because if I don't, they'll never beat you to the corner. All right. And so you guys can start heading back there. All right. And I'm going to pray for them. Uh, Go ahead and stand with me as I pray, um, as we pray over our next generation here, as we pray for our leaders, um, as we go out from here. God, we love you and we thank you for this moment in the life of the church. This is super exciting for us to... um, to continue to strengthen our staff team, to support our volunteer teams, um, and ultimately to disciple uh, the next generation um, as the church and the family partner together. We just love you, God, and we pray your blessing over the children, the babies, the students, the young adults of this church, and we pray that this would be a church where they can grow to become disciples of Jesus. As we go out from here, we pray that you give us one person to share your love with, God. You know who is around us. You know who needs it. Give us eyes to see the opportunities around us. And we pray this all in the name of Jesus, our King. Amen.